let's just tell people what what uh, Chief Zabu is about. Well, Chief Zabu is about different things to different people, but for me, it's about all of us. It doesn't look that way, but it really is. It's about uh, people, in this case, two guys, who think that if they get their money, if they get their success, that everything is going to be perfect. And the reality is, some people who never get there never know. And those that do sometimes get quite disappointed. Now, I don't want you to think it's not funny, because it is funny. And that's the way to tell a story for me. I think the, uh, the interesting thing for me, and I think what everybody's going to kind of latch on to, is that it was filmed in 1986. Um, why didn't you release it? Why didn't, where, where, why didn't it get released after well, 30 I wanted years? Well, I wanted to re <laughs> release it in 86. We loved it. We did it. We shot it in a college, Bard College, upstate New York, with 30 intern students. We lived in the dorms, and we really believed so much in it. And we spent two years from the time we shot it, getting it all ready. We had a distributor who loved the picture. And one day, they went into bankruptcy. And then we began to slow down. And 28 years later, here we are. So uh, what made you decide to finish and release the film now? Two words. Finishing the film all came to two words. And the words are Donald Trump. Because when I was uh, a young guy, I would drive into the city of New York, and I would look at a big sign on a hospital, and it said Trump Pavilion. And that stuck in my head. And in the picture, we talk about the Trump Pavilion. 30 years ago, mind you, we shot it. We were talking about Donald's father, Fred. But the point is that all these years later, that's what stimulated us, my partner, Neil Cohen, and myself, to go back, look at what we had. Was it as good as what we thought we had? And now we think it's better than what we thought we had. So that's how it happened. There's something a little bit quirky about that, um, that it's, you know, it's, it's kind of the 80s. It has an 80s look. But, it, but then there's this other part of it that it's extremely relevant. Well, thank you. And the greatest lines that I keep hearing over and over again are two, relevant and funny. Because for me, all my life, it's made it joyful through funny. But I never wanted to miss all the goods that make people happier and understand themselves. That's the key. Tell us a little bit about, just, just tell me the plot of the, the, for people that haven't seen it, and tell me a little bit about the plot. Well, there's a plot. The plot is a guy who really has fought his whole life. It's a wonderful, wonderful actor by the name of Alan Garfield, and he plays the part of Ben Sidney. And he has a guy working for him, and his name is Sammy Brooks, and I play that part. So it makes it all the more special. At any rate, Ben tells me, Sammy, that we must make money. We have to because it's the only way to be happy. And all of a sudden, he finds out through another guy that there is an island, a nation, a new nation in Polynesia that's going to become a major country. And they're here going to the UN to get the UN approval. And we have an opportunity to get the road rights, the fishing rights, all kinds of rights to this new nation. And he wants me to help. And we go off and we do it. And the key to this whole thing is the man who's the head of the new nation, and his name is Chief Henri Zabou. So it's the madness of these two guys fighting away and various people, wonderful actors from famous movies, and beautiful girls who make it just relevant and funny. So um, tell, us why you're, tell us why you're in Fort Lauderdale. For one reason, and uh, not that I don't love Fort Lauderdale, but it's the film festival. And it's the 31st annual Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. And to me, it's 
of all the places I've been and seen, this is probably for me the most relevant, again, I hate to, I hate to use the word other than with Chief Sabu, but I am now with the film festival. They really have such a perspective of wonderful taste, great pictures, unusual things. So when we got honored to be part of the festival and then to be the film that's going to play Election Eve, well, I mean, that's the end of the dream for me. It's fantastic. You, um, you've had quite a, a career in film, and people will recognize you from a lot of your, your roles, uh, especially Cadillac Man. I remember you in that film. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit? Uh, I think people would be interested about your career in film. Well, uh, my career in film happened only, ironically, because I... I went into the real estate business, and that's the genesis of this picture. And I made money, and I realized for the first time that that wasn't the answer. I was told my whole life that was the answer, but it wasn't. And bingo, I started working uh, back to what I really loved, which was comedy, because I worked as a comic as a kid, and acting, and I did a whole bunch of theater and lots of movies. And it just made such a joy out of my life. And I'll just say one thing that I, at the beginning, wondered, all these people are doing things for various reasons. And I said, is it possible that I am a character in my own life? And when I realized that I was, it changed my life because then it began me thinking that maybe I can change things, maybe I can do things that I wasn't aware of before. So as funny as the picture is, that's very much a part of this, consciousness. That's my favorite word in the world. So my last question would be, uh, we really want people to come out and see the festival. We want people to come out and see your film. Right. Tell us why we should. Well, first of all, you should for joy and entertainment. That's the big one. And the second reason is the reason I was just talking about. The more things you see, the more things you do that are really quality, and that's what the festival's about, the more it changes you, the more it grows you, and that's the key to the whole deal. This is the best time of my life, and I've never been older than this, and it's never been closer to the end, and I appreciate so much more, and I think you'll start on that road when you come to the Fort Lauderdale Film Festival.